in Sydney. It is uh, 11 a.m. in New Zealand. Uh, around the country, some of the parts of Australia have got a bit of a time difference. Those that are joining us from Perth, it is 7 a.m. And, of course, Adelaide, it is 8.30 a.m. I don't even know why I'm giving everyone the time of their state, just letting you know that this is what's going on in the world. And I've got good news for everyone. We're only uh, two, we're six weeks away from daylight saving, six weeks away from the sun and the jumpers will go off and real estate, it is our Olympic Games real estate agents. We know September, October, November is where most of the real estate gets sold throughout the year. They're the three months. And today I'm so excited to be with my partners that I represent as an ambassador, Wingman, who up until six months ago, no one knew who Wingman is. And now (laughs) they are part of the fabric and landscape in Australia. And of course, I've got one of their most senior people at Wingman, Nick Georges, who is joining us. Good morning, Nick. How are you going? Very well. Good morning, Tom, and good morning, everyone on the call. Yeah, listen, Nick, you're my favourite person at the moment because our remote professional, uh, our latest remote professional, uh, is just amazing. And I'm so looking forward to seeing her in person in around four weeks. Princess will be seeing you in person Um, I think you've got around 500 of the remote professionals coming together for the conference in Manila. Uh, Nick, I've got to tell you, I mean, I'm not a person that loves traveling. Uh, uh, I mean, I love being at the place, but I don't look forward to getting to the place. Uh, I just don't love traveling like I used to, but I'm so looking forward to uh, being there with you, Jonathan, the team, and seeing these uh, very grateful remote professionals uh, that are helping real estate agents focus on flying the plane. And I mean flying the plane metaphorically, but our best agents list, sell, negotiate, and our remote professionals are doing price updates for them. They're doing their admin. They're doing their responses on email. They're doing all this $10, $20 an hour stuff, and they're allowing real estate agents to make the main thing the main thing and that is put deals together so nick it's been an incredible burst to for wingman over the last three months yeah it has time it's been uh it's been a wild ride as you said uh six six or eight months ago we we were only in our sort of infinite stages and uh it's sort of uh we've exploded onto the scene and i think uh one of the things that we've tried to do in our business, and you sort of just touched on it, is humanize offshoring and actually showcase the talent that we have in the Philippines. And this conference that we've got coming up is a culmination of that. We have got about 50 Australian businesses joining us, and obviously you're you're one of them, Tom. And uh, that point you made earlier about actually meeting your remote professional princess Um is something that we really value uh, and uh, the fact that you're excited makes us excited uh, not only are they adding value to your business and businesses across the country um, but there is a human element to it and the fact that we can create that connection between a country that's sort of an eight hour flight away uh, really brings us a lot of happiness so um yeah we're really excited about it and we're excited to have you about it and have you there with us um and the philippines last year tom was actually um where we met the guest that we've got today so uh, i was very very fortunate uh to be able to spend a week with bryce who's who's our special guest today um and be able to pick his brain for for five days on on how he's built uh, his audience and his podcast, The Property Couch. Uh, he also runs a buyer's advisory called Empower Wealth. And uh, Jonathan and I got to spend some time with him and, and understand how he's created such a, such a huge audience, and um, which has been one of the reasons why we've sort of added another layer to Wingman. Yes, we're creating efficiencies and value in, in sales businesses and real estate businesses across the country. Um, and Jonathan and I sat there after our trip to Manila last year uh, and, and spending some time with Bryce and 
sort of understood how we're going to evolve the business and how we're going to add another layer. Um, and we are so excited today to to share it with you in the real estate gym. So uh, I'm going to hand it over to Bryce and let him tell you the story of of how we've added a phenomenal layer to to the wingman to the wingman group. Okay. Steve. Good morning, Bryce. Bryce, morning, Tom. How are you? <laughs> I'm very well. I'm very well, Bryce. Uh, for those of you that aren't aware of Bryce now, I mean, Nick met him on the trip uh, to Manila last year. Um, I can tell you I, I met Bryce by video first, and I would watch Bryce on ABC. I would watch Bryce on the Lifestyle Channel. I would listen to his Property Couch podcast. So he has been in the media, uh, particularly on on TV. But uh, Bryce, um, you've got an incredible ability to use uh, psychology and marketing to drive behaviours of people and uh, what you've been working on, and it's blown my mind. And today I'm going to see also what you've done uh, for me because you've been working away in the last week or so with Wingman on it. But Bryce, you know real estate and you know the biggest challenge, the header. <laughs> the thing that keeps agents up at night, the thing that they want more of, the thing that if you actually said, wave a magic wand and get me more listing opportunities, that's what matters to them. If they've got stock, they make sales. <laughs> and prospecting, I make a living, Bryce, out of telling real estate agents, reach out more to people in your community. The money is in the contact with these people but you've got this incredible ability to do it the other way around where you get the consumer coming to the agent like a magnet. You attract them there and uh, tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah, oh, thanks for inviting me first, Tom. And um, look, I, I can see why you're excited about going to the Philippines. Last year, I, in our business, we got 131 staff, 30 are offshore. So I got to meet um, uh, uh, Grace uh, on the trip last year. And so the excitement that you've got coming up is, I, I know how you're, how you're feeling about that. And I'm looking forward to doing it again this um, in four weeks' time. But um, yeah, look, it, it started, um, like I've been playing the, um, the, the, the content marketing game for over a decade. And it sort of led me to go to um, the US. I'd go and get in the room full of the best online marketers in the world. And I kept on trying to work out how do I have, um, how do I apply these online marketing principles to a, you know, I'm a service-based offline bricks and mortar business based in North Melbourne, right? So I'd go and talk to these people and they'd say, oh, you should do a course. And I'll go, great, fine, no worries. What? So I'd keep going to the next one, I'd keep going to the next one, I'd keep going to the next one. Eventually, um, I, I got to the back of a room with a guy who's uh, a mutual connection uh, for us, Tom. His name's Stu McLaren. And, yeah. and he, he is a guy in the States who teaches people how to build a community of people, right? And, and you're, the, you're the premier person in this country who knows how to build a, a really strong community. And so he said to me, look, um, I, I think business is really simple. And I think this is the biggest takeaway for everyone on this um, chat today, that you, you can break any business down to getting an engaged lead very, very simply by going, what well, you got to do, and if you think of it like a um, like a circle, first thing you do is you engage a client. The next thing you do is you get them the result that you said you'd do. Third thing is you record them talking about the result. And then the fourth thing is you tell others. And what it becomes is this circle that should generate, um, you know, you you are the um, the person who... Uh, coined the term attraction agent. If you do that right, you should become the attraction agent because the hardest thing you should do is engage the first client. Because mm -hmm. you engage the first client, you got to do whatever it takes to get that client. But if you get them the result, i.e., I, I, I listed their home, I got them, I, 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 I set, not just price, I satisfied everything that that vendor wanted in that uh, experience. And at the end, they are willing to tell someone, you go, great, I want to capture that because. Whenever someone jumps in a, a lounge room to do a listing presentation, the thing that's going on in the back of their mind is my um, my dream outcome is to get the result I'm after, but I've also got this niggle in the back of my mind around the perceived likelihood of achieving it because every single agent says, I'm the best, you don't do the guy down the road, you should go with me, look at my... But what they really want is a bit of social proof. So if I go back to Stu's, uh, he called it the circle of awesome. I think it's more the circle of attraction. If I'm a if I'm a real estate agent and I just got a great result, 
I want to go and talk to that vendor and say, hey, are you willing to, to tell people about that? They should, they should say, sure. And then you, you do the cycle. But the problem is you become an imposition on people's time. Because, Tom, if I'm, if I'm listing um, six properties, 11 properties this month, and then that person has to receive six phone calls, 11 phone calls, it's just untenable. So that's the reason why it doesn't work. So in the end, what I did is I... Um, uh, I, I, I used his circle of awesome, his circle of attraction. I came home and on the podcast, what I did is I did a summer series and I, I shouted out to the to the people on the, the podcast and said, who's used the frameworks that I've been talking about for the last six, seven, eight years and actually had some success? We had people reach out. And then over the summer, we, we showcased their stories, Tom. And by, and, and just, I, I didn't know what to expect, but the, I, I'd, I'd put it out on uh, through December. I put it out through January, and my leads in the business spiked incredibly in February. And like we're doing 400 leads a month in our business, just largely through content marketing. And so I thought, huh, isn't this interesting? And then, but that can get quite complex. Not everyone's got a podcast and all that sort of stuff. So, so it's the, the 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 simplest way that I think everyone on this call can do it is they just like what we're doing now. Get on Zoom. Ask someone in their lounge room to to talk to them, and the fact that you're, you know, you've got your lounge there and the wall in the background, and it's organic and raw is perfect. And then I and then I'd ask a couple of questions around the hero's journey, Tom, and basically tell us what it was like before you experienced my service, and tell us what it was like after. How'd you go from pain island to pleasure island? So, you know, tell me what it was like trying to find uh, a, an agent. What 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 what? How difficult was it to have these people come through your lounge room? How, what what sort of relief was it to know that I could actually do what I said I could do? What what happened on the day? Well, I got an outperform result, and basically, you get your your client to tell the story, the transformational story that they experienced using your service. It takes about twenty five minutes, and then what we do is we just compress it to anywhere between a minute and a half and two minutes with some um, some editing sort of polish around it. And then, Tom, it just becomes this silent sales force that sits on your website, that sits in your socials, sits on your YouTube channel. And if you can compound that with, okay, I've got two results, then I've got four results, then I've got eight results. And over the journey, you start to build up this wall of social proof. You, you, you become, people trust the messenger, um, uh, once they trust the message. So if they're getting all this third-party social proof authority edification that you are what you say you are, um, then, it, then it becomes easy to beat the guy down the road because we'll go, well... So, Bryce, as, we were, as, as you're talking, I'm just thinking about this example. I was, before we went on air, I was munching away and Susan goes, he's eating his breakfast, right? A protein bar. Tell you the story. Go into the shop. Having a look, I need to get something to put in my mouth. I go in. I have the person that says, let me tell you, this is the best protein bar at the moment. Goes on and talks to me about it for two minutes. I don't know why, but I just had this feeling like I just quickly Google it to listen to what another consumer has basically said, right? So I, I even though I had a salesperson who might have been a product expert there, I wanted to hear from some person who I didn't even know. They're out in Bundaberg that's put in a review about FB press protein bars. So I believe this person from Bundaberg, more that I've never known, and the reason why is that customer made this the superhero. And what you're saying is instead of the agent, which is the normal model, saying to the people, I am the house price maximizer. I will get you top dollar. I'm the best agent for you is to actually have an authentic human being that has gone through the process that actually says it. And what you're saying is where you come into the picture is you're able to get this into a very powerful, irresistible, unstoppable narrative in around 90 seconds to to two minutes, which we are gonna, I think we are gonna look at one today as well. Yeah, I've got some, I've got some show and tell for you. But what you, what you, what you just described, Tom, is it, it is like it's not. It, this doesn't apply to real estate. It, it applies to anyone who has a business where they say to someone, "I can get you a result." 
And so that protein bar, they're going to get you a result that says that I'm going to give you all of the nutritional benefits you want. It's going to be a nice experience for you. And if, as you said, if the salesperson with the jacket and the tie had said that, you would have gone, huh, you're paid to say that. But it was this organic process where someone was in the aisle um, who spoke to you. So that is that is definitely... Um, and, as, and as you're talking, I can't help but think about what Gavin Rubenstein said at ARIC in two, actually this year. Uh, who's a long-term client of mine, long-term real estate gym member, on stage, he said this. He says, you're going to have to get to the position of being the prospected one, not the one that's prospecting others. That's what you've got to aim for. Get them to prospect you, right? And I think that what you're talking about is creating a magnetic field to have people to contact you. You still have to talk to them. You still have to convince them that you're better than the other two or three agents. But the main thing what you're saying is you're getting an abundance of listing leads if you nail this. That's what I'm hearing. The other... 100%. And how do you... How do you sorry, Nick, you were going to say something? I was just going to say, in our, in our industry, Tom, it's so easy. We talk about the testimonial. So you've achieved a really good result. Uh, and the norm in our industry has been telling that client off, oh, do you mind writing me a few words, a few words uh, so I can post it on my website? But I don't think that has any weight. Uh, and the other end of the spectrum, oh, you could do a whole production on getting a film crew to the, to the house, sitting the, the vendor down and tapping them through the journey. But that's also not scalable. So this is a nice medium where we've found a pocket where you can do lots of them. It's cost effective. It's quick um, and it's digestible information. So you're not sitting there watching a 20 minute video. It's a real sharp to the point uh, video that's very authentic. Um, and I think that's where Bryce and the team have really, really nailed it. Yeah, but I've tested it. Go on, Bryce, go on. I, I've tested and made mistakes too, uh, there, Tom. So I, I engaged the guy in, um, in the Sunshine Coast to come and do three testimonial videos for me, charged me 25 grand. I uh, flew down to Melbourne, um, uh, did a full day with each of the three clients, lots of B-roll, looked sharp, and he he applied the hero's journey. They went for eight minutes, and I was so proud of them. I'm like, oh, how good is this? And I'm showing and one of my mates who's very big in the online world, I showed him, and he goes, huh, they're okay? And I'm like, they're okay? Mate, I just, I just dropped 25 on them. He goes, mate, they're too long, and they're not punchy. And he said, here's, here's, here's what I do. And so as soon as I saw what he did, he did it, like I said, in a minute and a half or two minutes. I'm like, ha, huh. so I've changed that. So now on, on my own website, Empower Wealth, I've got, a, I've got a wall of this social proof, right? So you imagine this digital waiting room where people come onto, onto my uh, website and they, and they go, is he what he says he is? Well, they can go, like I've got 130 pages of written testimonials with about 20 um, per page. So the sheer weight of that means that written um, testimonials work, but where I think it's most compelling is they just click on and it's someone in a similar, in, in, I'm, I'm, I smoke what I sell here, Tom. It's in similar uh, scenario that you're in there. They're in their own environment with their own background and it's not staged. And where I provide the polish is I provide the polish in the editing, but the actual engaging of the conversation, I want that raw. I want that to be believable. I want that to be the protein bar chat. So, so Bryce, here's the deal. I totally get everything that you're saying. Real estate agents that are talking about doing what you want them to do, this is not funded by vendors. It's not vendor-paid advertising. It's agent-paid advertising. And I want to let you know, uh, I'm glad that you're saying it's not 25 grand because real estate agents, it's cost prohibitive. And what really goes down with agents is things that are fast, good, and the price is attractive right? The price mm. is attractive and that they're able to execute it pretty quickly. And, and, and when they look at things like that, it don't, they don't see it as a cost. They see it as an investment in the profits because they see, oh, I'll invest this. And by the way, everyone, so I know that some of you might think, oh, get, getting ready for a big sales job, you know, throw in the steak knives. I'm letting you know what attracts me to the way that Nick and Bryce work is they said, we're happy to actually show people to go off and do it themselves, right? We want to show them the toolkit, but we also know that there's a few that will turn around and say, I love the idea. I don't want to actually spend any of my 
phone time, any of my listing time, any of my deal making time, I'll just outsource it to these guys because it's next to nothing. So, I mean, I think it'd be good to actually show because I think at the moment people are probably sitting back there and thinking, but what is it? So do you reckon a good idea is to actually show it or do you want to actually talk more about it? No, I reckon we show it, but uh, here's um, a couple of things. One, I've got to make sure I can share with sound. So let's make sure, first of all, I do that. And secondly, um, there will be a slight lag. So what we'll do is we'll put a link in so people can have a look at it at their own internet speed um, as well. But um, let's uh, let's have a swing at this. Um... Yes, yeah, so team, I want to be mindful. Again, when you're actually streaming using internet on Zoom to show videos, it is slower. It is not uh, replicating what real life scenario would be, but it should be okay. Um, and here's the, here's the advanced tip to um, Tom. When we record the videos with our um, clients, we do it with a software called uh, a site called Riverside.fm. <laughs> All it is is Zoom, right? But it's it's the difference is what it does is it takes 4K uh, video on your end, 4K yeah. video on my end, and it, and it um, sits on our um, uh, our our local drive. And then it uploads to the cloud. So it's not dependent on the internet speed. So exactly the same functionality, but it solves the um, the lag issue. All right, let's have a go. Let's see if I can do this. So you, this is this is what we did for you, Tom. So you let me know if you can see the okay, screen. So they're doing a video for me. They did this in the last few days, and they said I'll be very, very happy with it. I can now see your screen is, is slowly it? coming on, and now I can see you've pressed the play button. You ready? So just, just sing out if it doesn't work. Here we go. Is the best investment I have ever made. It's such a minimal cost for huge returns. What I've been able to achieve is unreal. My name's Aisha Coe. I am originally from London, as you can probably tell by my accent. I've been in Australia for 12 years. I've always been a real estate agent, so I've been in the industry for 17 years. I've been a member for probably about four or five years now, and it is the best investment I have ever made. It's such a minimal cost for huge returns and having access to this incredible amount of information from very high performing agents of all different markets. There is nothing like it in the world. Tom has done such an incredible job. What Tom has built is a platform where he's got all these different personalities and agents from different walks of life working in different markets. As soon as I took the gym a bit more seriously, it only took me 12 months to double my income. I have bought a house. It's my first home. But not only that, I've actually managed to bring my mum over from England permanently and build a life for her here. But I guarantee you, if you do join and you make the effort, I just don't think you can go wrong. I think this has got to be at the top of your list. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay. Listen. First time you've seen it, Tom, what do you think? Matt. I love that. I absolutely love it. I, I And listen, I want to let you know, I I mean, obviously I know who Aisha is. You know, she's one of my gym members um, and yeah. I am blown away. By the way, Bryce, you've done it now. If you don't use it, you've done it now. You're going to throw it away. So I'll just keep it, right? <laughs> uh, well, here's the, here's the deal, Tom. If you're talking to someone about real estate gym, do you go, oh, or do you just go, oh, let me just send you a text, Right. And you send them the text, let them watch that, and then they go, oh, cool, when's the intake? And you go, well, actually, there's no intake, but get on the waiting list. And are you telling me that Aisha, you did not go see her? That was done over a computer, was it? It was done over a computer. It, it's not scalable if you have to send a crew, Tom. You know it better than most, but it's just That's not the hardest scalable. Bit. That's yeah. the hardest bit is just getting people there, oh, mate, because the, the better the people, the harder they are to get to, yeah. right? Correct. Yeah, so yeah. that's it. So just, it, sorry, Nick, do you see how the, um, w so we sex it up through the edit so that the, so that the video can stay raw, right? So we, we, we lift the professionalism despite the fact, because some people have the cat walking in the back or, you know, their backdrop's not amazing or whatever. That's, that's the authenticity that I think helps people go, huh, 
that person actually is what they say they are because this person who's just bought the protein bar who's leaning up against the counter in the middle of the supermarket just happy to sort of tell Tom how good this protein bar is. Same deal, right? And that's... Uh, but you don't have to do it to that level. That's that's you can you can you can do this and go home on Apple iMovie and just cut it up or get a, an AI tool uh, to do it. So, so Nick, you were going to say something, and after you, I want to say something as well. Well, yeah. I want to ask a question yeah. to Bryce. I was just going to say too, like we all know that sales agents are very very busy. There's there's always a million and one things to do. The really cool part about this is one, we're only taking twenty to twenty five minutes from the client so the interview yeah. process is about 20 to 25 minutes yeah and you receive the video back within a week roughly give or take right. so um there's no film crews there's no hours upon filming it's a 20 25 minute zoom chat with the client and then the yeah. agent will receive the content back in a week or so so it's a very efficient fast way to build your social proof library. Okay, so everyone, I want you to picture now. What you're going to have is one of these videos and this video can sit on your realestate.com profile page. This video can be on your own Microsoft page. This video can be your standard default. You send out someone um, uh, inquires and wants to know a bit about you. Before you go out to any listing presentation, this now becomes part of your digital introduction. You can actually have this video embedded into your Realtor digital proposal when you go out there. There are so many ways you can have this on your story highlights. You can have this on your social media. This basically is becoming an unstoppable, irresistible business card. Now, let's talk money. I want to ask you, how much... Have you have have you got a model set up, or do you do it pay like you quote per job, or is there a standard model that you've got now? Because I know that people are thinking, how much is this thing? Yeah, go for it, Nick. Um, so before I get to that, it's also not just the ninety second video. So there are, I think, nine to ten bits of content that you will get from this one interview. So you right, will, you will get the the ninety second video you will get three to four little uh, grabs of, of yeah. parts of the video. So you can use them for sponsored ads and um, you will get some digital cards with some quotes that we do. So there, there's about nine to 10 bits of content um, for the one interview with the client. Um, usually we're doing them for $1,500. Um, Tom, for your real estate gym, $995 plus GST. Listen, that's cheap. I'm telling you straight, that's cheap. And I'm tight. I tell you, I suss things out. That is good value. That's a hit. $999, $990. And what you're saying is, thanks, Susan, you put it up. So, Susan, by the way, for those of you that are sort of saying, okay, uh, no brainer, uh, no brainer, first move advantage, I'll be one of the first ones in my area. Because if you're one of the first ones in your area, then the second one doesn't want to look like a copycat. So they might not do it. And then you've got this first uh, uh, move advantage. Um, so I'm just going to go to that chat box. There it is there, wingmancreative.com. Uh, .au forward slash Panos. Listen, whether you put Panos or not, there's don't worry. I'm not getting uh, any money out of it, okay? I want to make that very clear. Well, it's, just, it's, just not, the, it's just for the discount. They make sure that's they'll get the discount. Oh, right. So that's the discount. Okay. Yeah. So when they go to that one, it's 990 If they don't go to that one, it's 1500 bucks. 1500 bucks cheap anyway. Um, well, here's, the, here's the beauty of it, uh, Tom. One, one is obviously we want people to experience it, right? But the... But the power of it is the is the compounding over time. So one video, great. But it, the idea is for people to build up over if they if they genuinely you know to to your point of this webinar, attraction agent 4.0, you you will want to make sure that you build up a a wall of these um, pieces of social proof that then become part of your pre-listing kit that become part of your. If I just quickly share the screen, I'll have another go. I've got a slide here I want to show you. Um, let me know if you can't see a slide that says how to get engaged leads. But this is a, a model that I've um, uh, uh, adopted from a guy by the name of Alex Hormozzi. Really, really great stuff, right? And so he says there's only four ways for you to get a lead and there's only four ways you can get other people to get a lead. So 
You can do warm outreach, you can do cold outreach. Well, real estate agents know that. That's 101. You're talking to someone you don't know or you're talking to someone within your database that you have some form of relationship, but you're constantly outreaching to them. Um, one to many, with people you know, you can post free content. That's social media is the obvious one. Um, you can run some paid ads, okay? So they're the only four ways that a real estate agent can get a lead with their prospecting activities, one of those categories. And on the right side here, you've got... Uh, the ways, four ways you can get other people to do the, the core four leads for you. So word of mouth, customer referrals. Uh, you can create an affiliate. So a real estate agent might have a relationship with a mortgage broker or a conveyance or whatever. Um, if you've got an EBU um, as part of your um, uh, business, you might have someone as an employee who does a bit of the outreach for you, or you can actually get a third-party agency. Now, what these videos do, Tom, is allow you to do seven out of eight of these, right? Because imagine that video that you've got now. You could do that as a warm outreach, Tom. Anyone that you um, have had any sort of um, uh, touch about interest of the real estate gym, you, why wouldn't you send that video to them just to remind them what the gym is? Or you could send it out to whatever prospecting you do. Um, Tom, you're the attraction agency. You probably don't do any, but let's assume you are. Um you're going to cold outreach to a bunch of people, just send them that video. Um, post free content, well, that's put it on your YouTube channel, put it on your socials, put it on your homepage, on your website, the all the above. And then you could um, say, well, my, my patch is these six suburbs and I'll get the meta suite to actually um, target those suburbs and I'll put a bit of spend behind this video so that I can get my profile out there. Um, again, you can use it there. You can use it, um, it, it is a customer referral. So you can actually, we can say to Aisha, Hey, listen, can you send this to a couple of your friends um, who you think might want to join the real estate gym? And she's going to go, hell yeah, how good do I look on this video? So she yeah. sends it to a bunch of her friends. She can send it off to the affiliates. You can get your employees to do this, Tom. You can get your remote professional to uh, send that out to a bunch I, I of can people. Tell, I can tell real estate agents, just do this. Get a video done, then post it, tag your vendors, ask your vendor, happy vendor to share it, they have just told 5,000 or 2,000 or 100 or whatever they've got, people that are connected to them, all about you. That is what uh, used to happen at the barbecue, Bryce. You don't used to sit around a barbecue. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, Gavin, he was pretty good. Yeah, he sold it. It was pretty good. He's not, not a bad agent. Two people hear it. This yeah. way, 10,000 people hear it. Yeah, yeah. So we're just taking advantage of the modern way to network your message, and you've done it in a way that allows you to. There's a few questions. There's a few questions yeah. that are coming in, and if it's okay, uh, Jenny has says just signed up a remote PA. Well done, Jenny. Well done, Jenny. Richard, who's a great client of mine. Where do I sign? Well, where you sign is Richard. You go to that um, URL is uh, probably the best place. Antonia says, is the discount also for New New Zealand members? Is the answer yes? Yep. Okay, so you've got to convert that to AUD, by the way. These are Aussie prices, but it's not much different. Congratulations, New Zealand. Rates went down yesterday, I heard. Rates <laughs> went down. And they were saying rates were going to go up. That's why they listen to anything. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Bryce. Can you please share the recording? Yes, uh, this recording, oh, the recording to... platform, Riverside.fm, Riverside.fm. Oh, right. That's what he wanted. I thought you wanted us to share the video. Riverside. Yeah, that's a great, a lot of podcasters use that. Yeah. Uh, Adam Wells looks amazing. How do we, how do you get the, the B-roll from? Just want to talk about that for a moment. So let me be very clear. If I'm a real estate agent now, Tom Panos from LTY Realty, um, I decide today, um, I get in contact with you. Um, I'll tell my vendor someone's going to be in contact with you from wingman creative you do the rest is that right you 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 line up the vendor yeah all all, all the person all the client needs to do is do two things one identify a client who they could say Aisha and two prime Aisha and say hey look can you talk, talk to these people they're going to call you that's it now in your case we did it behind your back and we reached out to Aisha privately but um so you didn't have to do anything Tom but generally speaking Identify a client who would be perfect and um, uh, segue uh, a connection, and then we'll take it from there. So the the person here has talked about B roll. I don't. I can picture for a vendor video. I don't know whether 
you'd want to use like in a 90 second video. And I've got to tell you, I would urge people shorter is better because if we can do it in 90 seconds, Bryce, they'll be able to use that piece as a reel on um, Insta, which gives them uh, a better algorithm reach than a non-reel on there. Um, but here's yeah, the deal on that, Tom. We got we got a, we got a hero video that I think is important that they they get to feel the full experience. But then there's 25 minutes of which we've only used uh, 90 to 100 seconds. So all of the cutting room floor stuff becomes reels. So all the good stuff that we couldn't fit in, we still get to use that and then use that on social. So it just one 25 minute becomes 10, 12, 15 assets. That's the digital assets, which is the um which is the powerful part of just saying to this person, if you can, if you can give me 25 minutes of your time, that is done. We're not, you're not going to get random phone calls from people saying, how did you go with XYZ agent? It's like, well, we, we've got that covered. Okay. Then there's a last question from an anonymous attendee. What if the client is older and doesn't have access to Zoom? Look, I would probably suggest that you get someone that, uh, um, I mean, when we say access to Zoom, the whole world has access to Zoom, right? The issue is whether they've got a video camera on their computer and whether they know to press the button. But the good thing about um, a lot of these platforms, and I'm very certain it will be no different with Riverside, is they're not downloading anything. All they're doing is pressing a link, just like you would be doing opening up an email. Like it is, there's no apps. We're not talking about anyone having to be tech savvy here. But I totally get it, Luke. Sometimes an 85-year-old person uh, like my father probably would not be the ideal person. You find another person to do it would be my response. You want to add anything to that? Yeah, we've tested it with um, with the older demographics. They get it done. So here's the deal. Riverside can't do magic. If, if they've got a dinosaur of a computer, they can't polish a turd into the, to a strawberry, right? So we can only deal with what we've got. But you're right. They click on a link and then they talk to it. And sometimes... You know, we've got 1950s uh, decor in the background and just adds to the organic raw nature of it that it's the, the protein bar is um, recommendation is not being set up. It's actually real. So look, now, let me talk. Raj, Raj has asked a question. Can we use two or three vendors in the same video? Listen, I don't know whether you can or I can't, but I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. And the reason why is I think when you start doing multiple people is I'm selling I'm selling infomercial, infomercial, whereas when it's one person, it's their story. And it's the story that sells. It's actually not you having combinations of people saying that this has been artificially put up. It's one person's experience. Um, but Bryce, Nick, like, is there any comments on multiple vendors on a video or what have I, I, I'd be surprised if you don't agree with what I've said. I, de I definitely don't um, disagree with what you said, but um, just but the answer is degree of difficulty. We're trying we're trying to actually make it easy, straightforward, simple, so that people can just get on with listing and doing what they do well, right? So as soon as we add degrees of complexity, so so the answer is we could do it, but um, the juice isn't worth the squeeze. The 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 the, the message penetration the transformation that comes like it's not just telling stories we're trying to get a transformational story it's effectively the 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 video equivalent of the real estate show that says here's the before photo and here's the after photo we're doing the same thing for the client experience so i just i'd have to understand raj's motivations a bit more but i i, I wouldn't see the need to do that ian martin asks, how does it work if you really don't have a social media brand or background well listen ian actually it actually has zero to do with social media to be honest with you because there's um i can see some people even if you don't have social media you would use this as an email out to clients you would use this on your realestate.com page which nearly everyone who's in real estate has a realestate.com well everyone does have a profile page so i don't think if if your brain space is oh this is in star trek social media world it's not me man all you're doing is actually saying to your vendor will you give me 25 minutes of your time that's it am i right yeah you are 100 percent right it's it like it's just it's just a uh, if you don't have to put it on social media just put it put it on your homepage on your website um it's you know uh 
we can we can text message that link to anyone. Like they can just text message the the link. They can ask someone to help them house it on a, a YouTube site, and then just te- like it it it. The, the idea is, Tom. I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars trying to understand this uh, content marketing game, and so I guess the point of today's message was this is the simplest, cost effective, um, least complex way that you can actually um, do the the as I said before the core four ways to get a lead and the core four ways to get other people to do the lead. It just it 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 allows you to do it in an effortless way. So, Ian, I, I wouldn't let be a barrier. It's uh, Marietta has, says, can you use your phone or do you need a laptop? Well, look, I mean, I actually think you won't be using either of it because uh, Wingman will be doing it for you, right? You don't have to use anything, right? Um, but if your question is, can the vendor use um, a mobile phone instead of a laptop, what's your response to that? Uh deal the above whatever whatever it takes to get the vendor to say yes to the experience right uh an ideal world they'd be on a nice desktop computer with a nice uh setting in the background right so that's nirvana but if they're the only way you can catch them is in the um in the the airport lounge in between flights and um and they're on their ipad knock yourself out just say yes (laughs) okay there's a heap of other questions coming in but i actually think that they're probably going to be better uh, used uh, dealing direct uh, with you. So I've actually just brought up on the chat screen again, which you might not be able to see. It's on my screen, but it's wingmancreative.com.au forward slash Tom Powers forward slash, but we've actually got it in there. So just copy it. We're going to email out this whole video to you and it'll have it on there on social media. Susan has probably put in the link, by the way, press the share button share button on social media we do want as many people to see this as possible um luke louisa has just says will you send the shorter edits for social media posting or is it a raw drop requiring editing outside of the 90 uh, second so it's 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 full, it's full um turnkey so um they'll get they'll get the social cards so we'll create social cards we'll create reels uh, and we'll create the hero video. We'll deliver those assets um, to the client uh, in a format that they can plug and play straight away. There's like, yeah, def- it's definitely set and forget. You know what? My first sales training course ever, I was working as a clerk for a short period of time while I was at uni for National Mutual Insurance for an actual broker. And I remember sitting through a sales training program where they says, relax, disturb, solve, right? And I can't, you know, relax, disturb, solve, close. I think that's what it was, relax, disturb. So, and I can't help, when I'm watching the video, it's like highlighting the thing that's going through the client's mind and then making that client become aware of the problem and then actually letting them know here is the Panadol to your headache Mm -hmm. and it being done in such a short period of time while you're sleeping because it can be done in scale. Well, imagine, imagine even just some of your existing efforts to that point, uh, Tom, imagine if I'm just say I'm a letterbox dropper. Okay. And I'm um, let's, let's not comment on whether that's effective or not. Let's just say we're letterbox droppers. Imagine if your competitor is dropping a letterbox drop that is, insert every single letterbox drop um, we've ever done in history into the into the mail or another one that says want to know what your neighbors think about selling in this suburb and then you give them some links to go and watch those videos like you, it, it is the, the, just the curiosity of that is oh yeah I want to know what my neighbors think about selling in this suburb and then all of a sudden they can click on four videos of, and then all of a sudden they go well who is this I've got to get to know this person they all, and then all of a sudden the lead comes to you rather than you trying to get the lead um, uh, from them. So there's, you can be super creative. Like ChatGPT makes it super easy to come up with a thousand ideas. But the, the point is the execution of the idea needs to be simple. It needs to be automated. It needs to be done in a way that people just go, oh, I've got a lot of energy around this, but um, I get it done. And then they, then, then they just go into old habits and never get it done. It's it's a, the, the, the clients that we've got to do this on a recurring package, um, Tom, so... They automate it. We do two a month for them every single month. And we just 
pump them uh, all the all the assets out to them so that they can put it into their social uh, financial planner, bespoke builder, mortgage brokers, listing um, real listing agents, uh, property managers. So it it's, it it doesn't dis, it, it doesn't discriminate against what industry. It's just so someone we, who wants to showcase yeah, a result. I'll just finish. I, I feel uh, uh, not good. I was going to say feel bad when I don't get through all the questions. Let me just quickly go through. Louisa Walker, music to my ears. Uh, thanks, Louisa. Jenny, it's a good idea. Is it a good idea to attach three uh, separate vendor videos, including your pre-list? Jenny, you could do that. If you had three different ones, you could absolutely do that. I would probably wouldn't have them all in the, the same video. Um, and if they're only 90 seconds long, I think uh, they're going to probably consume that. Uh, a lot more likely than consuming uh, something that's going to take half an hour to read. That's why I'm so against those leave-behind brochures that no one actually ever opens these days. Anthony asks, do you require content from agents? Example, logo for the font of the tailored video. Do you, yeah. Yeah, so on our on our recurring clients, we send a um, we send a videographer um, out to get B roll. So they'll 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 shadow the agent, take some shots of them at um, auction, uh, watch them walking around, interacting with clients. So therefore, we can we can tailor the B roll into it. Um, but for the one offs, we just we find all the, the the stuff from their existing social media posts. Perfect, Rick. Love the method of getting these video testimonials done. Of course, you love it. You know why? You should always, in life, I've got to, guys, this is off the topic. Whenever I'm trying to do something new, I always ask myself this question. If this was easy, what would it look like? It is by far the best approach to attack something. If this is easy, what would it look like? It's like the pathways in your brain go in and say, do this so it's not stressful and not hard and it doesn't blow my head gasket because I'm just getting overwhelmed. And what you're doing here is very easy. Anyway, I did three in the last two months. Oh, good on you, Ricky or Rick. And it was tough managing the availability between vendors and videographer, plus we're not very... That's why I get you, Rick. That's why I tell people I'm just taking my mobile phone I'm not having a video person. Why? Because I'm sick and tired of having Dropbox files come back and forth, trying to line up clients to be there at this time, trying yeah. to line it up. Just make it easy. You know that they're in front of a computer. Bang, do it there. And the point is too, Tom, imagine like you and I are just having a casual chat here. I'm in my office. You're in your uh, um, comfortable space. But imagine if we started having this webinar conversation, we go into a studio and it's well lit. All of a sudden you and I have got a jacket on and we're just... We stiffen up and we straighten up and we we get a little bit more formal, right? Whereas the the environment that we're in here allows that casual um, top of mind stuff to happen. And so that if we talk to Rick's point there, as soon as you get the as soon as you do what he's done and get the clients into a room and formalise and get it well lit and all that sort of stuff, not only does the market not necessarily trust the um, uh, the slickness of it, but secondly, you're not going to get the best out of the client. They they're going to they're going to stiffen up and they're going to go, well, how am I perceived and what's going on? Whereas when you got them in their environment, they are relaxed. It's like when you watch a game show and everyone's in their own lounge room and they go, oh, I would have said this and I would have done that and I would have done it this way. And you go, but as soon as you get in the studio, you shit the bed. <laughs> you panic, right? So it just changes everything. Okay, you're frozen for a moment, but I've got to tell you, I've been so entrenched in this, I forgot our uh, uh, hard finish time, which was going to be around 9.40. Nick, it's been an absolute pleasure. Do you want to uh, sign off uh, and finish up for us, Nick, today? You started yeah. it with us, finish it off with us. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the, everything that we're doing at the Wingman Group, we're trying to make it simple. So trying to make it simple so that you as sales agents and business owners can focus on the things that you love doing and are income generating. I'll leave it at that. Okay. Jonathan's just asked very quickly, Tom, please ask, because he's asked, please, because you've asked, please. We've got to go through it. Is it 1500 It's only 990 It's 1500 for 90-second client video, or is there a multiple client follow-up fee, whatever that means? So let's be clear. For your members, Tom, they can get the, the package of 10 assets for 995 Hero video, four reels, and then whatever's left for the quote cards. What's that? Five quote cards um, packaged. Like, there's... There's no follow-up. No, it sounds um, sus, Jonathan. I know it's too good to be true, but it is true. You well, know? let's 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 declare what we want. We we think that the best results that people will get, Tom, 
is if they go on the automated um, uh, scenario where they, like I said, let's get two of these done a month. And at the end of the year, you've got 24 on your website. And then at the end of next year, you've got 48 on your website. And at the end of four years, you've almost got 100. That's Nirvana. Talk about talk about being the attraction agent in your area. You will have escape velocity that none of your peers can even catch. So we, we, we want people to experience it. So we're making... We're making the barrier to experience so low that it's a no-brainer. We can we can showcase what um, what what can be done, and then we can have a conversation and say, "Hey, listen, do you want do you want to do you want to put this on autopilot?" So, like, let's be fully transparent. But to say yes to this should be a no-brainer. Yeah, well, Jonathan, that was very nice of you too, Jonathan. He says, "Awesome, please say thank you." I've never had anyone say that before. To please. <laughs> Please say, well, you've actually said it because you're in the chat box. Yeah, thank you, John. Bryce, thank you so much. Pleasure. Nick, thank you so much. Nick, looking forward to spending quality time with you away. When you're away, you connect at a different kind of level. Um, Bryce. I'll see you there, Tom. I'll be there. Oh, you're going too? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I, That's awesome. It's, it's, an, it's an amazing experience. I did it last year. I'll do it this year. I'll do it next year. It's just the the ability to connect with these remote professionals um, – Tom, you, I think Wingman are doing a good job changing the narrative from virtual assistants to remote professionals because they're a human. So that's tick. But then when you land there and like I'm playing um, games with uh, my remote professional and she's tipping water on my head and we're just, uh, it's, it's, these, these are people with families with real hopes and dreams and desires. And they, uh, instead of. Bryce, the beautiful people, Susan told me, I don't know whether I should, yes, that's nothing wrong. She said to me the other day, um, Princess has been asking uh, um, um, Susan what my daughter's uh, like because I envisage that she's thinking to herself, I want to give him something. I mean, yeah, I, I, I get it. I get it's a good gesture, but I mean, I'm totally, I totally understand the cost of living there. Um, in the, I, I, I mean, I, I've seen. Well, what about this? Tom? What about this? They they work for American companies and they have to work back of clock, so they have to start at ten o'clock and finish at six, and they have to travel for three hours to get there at ten, and they have to travel for three hours to get home after six. So you can imagine their quality of life is custard. Then they come and work for a uh, an Australian based um, uh, business. That is Nirvana to them, mate. They they, they are now front of clock. He's just they made me. He's just made me feel really. He's just made me feel really guilty because I was coming back from the airport the other day and I started getting stuck into the Uber driver because he didn't take the new highway that gets you to Haberfield in eight minutes faster, right? So it ended up being 27 minutes instead of 19 minutes, right? And I've just thought about it now, what you just talked about, and that is they're traveling three hours to get to work. Mate, and, the, and you're in the and you're in the Uber on your own in the back seat. They're like in the I can't remember the name. Nick will probably remember the name of the um the the transport, but they're they're jammed in trying to get there. So they working for an Australian business is like their dream. They work front of clock. They work from home. They're spending more time with their people. And I can tell you, in my own business, it's transformed um, the non-dollar productive work that onshore people were just turning their nose up. These people are just going, please. Give me the opportunity. This is amazing. So, um, yeah, no, I'm I'm looking forward to. Uh, nice. Thank you so much. Say hello to your uh, business partner and co-host on your podcast, The Property Couch, Mr. Kingsley, Nick Georges. I will see you very soon. To everyone that joined in here, uh, yes, thank you, Kirsty. She says thanks from New Zealand. John says thanks. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time. Uh, I can tell you, whoever spent the 48 minutes with us here today, uh, whether they're going to do something or not, you have been given useful information on how to get people to actually come to you versus you having to go to them all the time. Thank you so much. Signing off.